the parts of the instrument. This is the bell. This is the bridge key on the bell. It's very important. Next we have the bottom joint. You can tell it's the bottom joint because there's a thumb rest on the back. This joint has some important bridge keys as well. This one here will line up with the bridge key on the bell that we just looked at. There are some on the top as well that will line up with the upper joint. Here is the upper joint. You can tell it's the upper joint because there's a hole for the reed at the top. Here are those bridge keys that line up with those on the bottom joint. There are two, one on each side. Before we put it together, you may need to put some cork grease on it. This is some in a tube. If you have some in a small circular container, that's okay too. You simply spread it on the cork part, just like chapstick. Then you can put some on your finger and rub it all in. The secret word is rugby. Once your corks are all greased, grab the top joint in your left hand and the bottom joint in your right hand. You can put your thumb underneath the thumb rest like I have. Very carefully, you're going to place the two joints together. The keys should line up on the front. Watch the bridge keys and carefully twist the parts together. It's very important that you're careful with the bridge keys and everything else. You don't want to bend a key. See how I'm gently twisting. The bridge keys are starting to line up. Notice that this bridge key on the left with the little wings on it is going to go on top of the bridge key on the right or on the bottom joint. Just carefully twist them together and line them up precisely. Your instrument will not work properly unless these keys are lined up. The next step is to grab your bell. Remember there's a bridge key on there as well. Carefully slide it on and line up the bridge keys. Then you can carefully twist it together. The bell bridge key is going to be on top this time. You can tell because it's the one with the little wings on it. The wings always go on top. When you are finished, there shouldn't be any cork showing. All of the joints should be pushed all the way together. The bridge keys should all be lined up. The wings should all be on top. To take your instrument apart, you're going to just carefully twist. You should always place your hands over the part of the keys that already move and never over the rods that could bend very easily. Being mindful of the bridge keys, take your bell off first. Place your hands like this on the instrument. Your hand should be over the part of the keys that already move. Carefully twist those two joints apart, being mindful of all those fragile keys, especially the bridge keys. Make sure your oboe fits in its case properly. It should always be in the correct place so nothing gets bent. <laughs> 